Hey guys, welcome back to the Electric Bike Lab. Today we're gonna to be doing a three-part video series on this super popular bike. This is a rad runner, and we got this off Facebook Marketplace for a pretty good deal, so we're gonna soup it up, uh, do some awesome mods to it. Today's video, we're gonna be doing the 35 amp controller mod. So this is just a plug and play controller. Plug it in and you get a significant power increase. We're gonna be doing that on today's video. The next video, we're gonna be doing a full-blown light setup, including indicators, turn signals, horn, and then finally, we're gonna do an extension battery pack in the rear that allows you to use this extra space and put a battery underneath. So part one, we're gonna get started on this controller. And we're gonna throw it on. Let's do it. All right, so this is the old controller that we already pulled off of the bike. It's just held in place by two bolts that are attaching it to this plate. I believe they are a four millimeter Allen in order to take those out. And this is gonna be the replacement controller. So this is a KT, which stands for Kuntang controller, rated up to 35 amps peak. I believe these are rated around 20 amps. So going from 20 to 35, it's about a 40-ish percent difference in current, which is gonna to amount to about that much in torque. Pretty significant difference. We're also gonna be adding on this color LCD display. This is an LCD 8 HP, so it's a really nice looking display and it's gonna plug right into the existing Rad Power harness. So we're basically ditching this completely and we're throwing on these guys. Now we're gonna take off the original LCD display. This is the SW900 that the Rad Runners came with. This display is not compatible with the KT controller, so you do have to replace it. It runs a different display protocol. So pulling this off is three millimeter Allen bolts and it's just two of them. And then the display is able to pop right off. Yeah. And then here is the original selector switch, which will also pull off. That's also a three millimeter Allen. And we'll just throw that to the side. In our case, these brake levers are pretty beat up, you can see. And as well, we're gonna be switching the throttle out to a full twist throttle instead of this half twist. Uh, you don't have to do that. This is just for preference only. So we're gonna pop these two off, five millimeters for these two, and then I believe a three to pop this off. Now we're gonna install the new LCD display. So you wanna make sure that the wording is facing upwards and that you're not installing it upside down. And we got two bolts right here. These are both 2.5 millimeter Allens. We're gonna throw this on. We're gonna use the rubber from the old display. And then we just have two Phillips. Okay, one and two, and then we'll just reposition it so that it looks directly at us, and we will feed the selector over to the side. Okay. Good, and I think we will probably put our light stuff on this side in the next video. 
Okay, so this is the harness where we unplugged everything from before. So this was our throttle, two brakes, and display. We've also got a light down here, which we're not going to use. We'll just plug all those back in. And it's easy because there are arrows on each one. So you just line up the arrows, plug them in. And this little screw type connector, you want to be really careful with that. This is what Rad Power decided to use. You just want to line them up and then slowly wiggle it in. I'm going to line up these two slots. and press it in tightly and then screw the connection that's it all right so now we're going to mount the controller we're going to mount it underneath the frame but first we're going to plug in everything so right here this blue plug this is the original rear brake light we're not going to actually do this because we're going to do in our next video the light upgrade here's our pedal assist sensor which is the orange one and we have the battery removed right now just for ease of visibility and access. But the battery plug will also plug in. Okay. This one is obviously the battery plug. The harness plug is this one right here. So we will align the arrows plug that in and we have the motor plug which has to fish through the area by the fender so you'll probably have to just squeeze the fender a little bit in order to get this motor plug through good now we're able to plug it into the original motor and what's important to note here is that the arrows are going to be slightly misaligned and that's okay the reason is because this is a high go plug and this is a julette plug so they are the same plug but they use a different alignment arrow so that's in nice and tight and then we will use zip ties to secure this back down so we don't have any special mount for this, but we do have these little tabs that we're able to feed zip ties through. And that's going to do for now. Maybe in a future video, we'll come up with a bracket that can 3D print in place. But for now, this will work. We can kind of just get it roughed in place for now. Okay, and it is on there, so at least that's on there temporarily for now. And that's really basically all there is to this controller upgrade. We've plugged everything in, we've swapped the controller, we've put in the new display. So once we get our battery hooked up, we can take it for a ride and see how much of a performance increase it has. All right, so we're doing the maiden voyage on the Rad Runner with the new 35 amp controller plugged in. So and take this thing for a spin and just see how much of a performance increase it is over stock. I have a feeling it's pretty good, but I'm pretty excited to try this out. Whoa. Not bad, 39 kilometers an hour. Battery's only at 49.9, so it's only half-ish charged. You can see how quickly it gets up to speed. 20, 25, 30 kilometers an hour. Zero to 30 in like, I don't know, three or four seconds it feels like. Let's try again. Yeah, 
like four seconds. All right, so we beefed up the mount just a little bit by adding a couple of these stainless steel hose clamps. As you can see, I lined them with heat shrink just so that they wouldn't scratch the frame. We still have the zip ties in place, but obviously these are gonna give way more support to the controller. And now everything is installed. We got the battery back on, we've got all the cabling in place. Everything's looking good. It's super, super secure. Just went for a good ride. Um, just kind of giving full blast throttles for a while and the controller is not even really warm to the touch. So definitely a uh, solid, but yeah, this is a really easy mod, popping this controller on in the display and it's a significant performance increase. This was the first time I'd ever tried the 35 amp controller on the Rad Runner bike. And for the ease of installation and for how much you get out of it, it's definitely a win-win in my uh, opinion. So yeah, this is it. This is a video one controller mounted. And our next one, we're gonna do a lighting kit for the front and rear. It's gonna be a pretty sweet lighting kit. And then third, we're gonna do the battery that's gonna fill up this area. So if you like this video, Make sure to check out the next two that are coming and uh, we'll see you soon. Keep it on two wheels. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure to drop a comment. Let us know what you think. Let us know what you'd like to see. We want to hear about it. And if you want to watch another video, click on this one right here. Or if you want to see what kind of e-bike stuff that we've got, check out this link right here.